Hey there and welcome back. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can quickly texture an asset using procedural techniques. But before we jump into the cliff shading, let's have a look at the custom Material X node that I will be using in this video. You'll be able to access it through the Material X menu, CGS Track Planner, which is the Material X version of a previous digital asset I posted. But this one has some advantages when it comes to speed and overall experience. At the top you have the signature, basically use color for albedo, float for roughness and displacement and vector tree for normal maps. Let's connect the texture, you have the option to pick a different one for each axis. So this is basically a UV randomizer but within a triplanar projection so you don't need UVs at all. You have a seed for the randomization if you don't like the default look, the tiling amount, the triplanar blending of the different projections and the UV blending that controls the sharpness between each repetition of the texture. Here I have this scene with two spheres, the one on the left is using my nodes and the one on the right the def default triplanar projection. I have the different channels mapped, just changing the signature and textures inputs, so they all share the same tiling and randomization settings. As you can see the one using the default Material X node is repeating the patterns and doesn't work properly on normal maps and even displacement maps due to the blending between projections. And the CGS Triplanner it's doing a better job at hiding the repetitions and works perfectly with normal maps and other channels. You can grab all the scenes from this video along with the Triplanner node from my Patreon. Let's get to the cliff shading. So I created this example cliff with some height fields and VDB as shown before on the channel. Then I am creating some custom masks to use in texturing. First a convexity mask and then in a point vop a slope mask. Moving into Solaris, importing the Geo and let's see the shader setup. As you can see I am using the custom triplanar node and this is how it looks with everything combined. So in the first triplanar I am loading a mega scans texture of a cliff and I am mixing with uh, another rock texture. And as the mixing factor I am using the convexity mask, but you can also use the concavity one for a different look. This is how it looks both textures combined. Then I am mixing on top the grass texture using the slope mask. As for the remaining channels I am just using the respective textures, making sure all of the triplanar nodes share the same tiling and randomization settings using referenced nodes. And this is how it looks with displacement. And finally I added a simple ocean and some other elements and you can see the final result of the texturing. This was a quick setup, you can create more masks and experiment with different textures to get the desired look, add noises and so on. So yeah, hopefully this can help you in your next project and feel free to get all the files plus the custom triplanar node from my Patreon. See you in the next one.